Hello, my name is Eva Simpson, and it's my pleasure to speak to you about virtual, virtual, virtual production. Technology related to motion capture so far now are uh, related to a special codification that the name is FAPS. So we bring the face, you know, with controls, like if the face were uh, a puppet, and we animate the faces of the characters using this, this, this codification. Virtual production is a pipeline that is really taking hold in the film industry. It is revolutionizing it using a software called Unreal Engine, which is a game engine. And we are going to be producing films entirely virtually. The innovation of this project was to bring together film students and game students to create films in Unreal Engine. My students were working with others who had completely different perspectives to them. It definitely helps our students work better in the industry because the game industry is very collaborative. Believe it or not, even just a few years ago, people were very wary of even the mention of filming using a game engine or virtual worlds. And the most common doubt was about the quality and the realism. Cut to 2022, where virtual production is taking over the traditional film industry. Soon, we may all be shooting in an LED volume and locations will be a rarity.
There we go. Thing. Hello, there we ladies go. and gentlemen. How you doing? All right. What's up, folks? How you doing? My name is Dr. Chris Alexander. I'm known as the professor of video games. First, we're going to start with Uncharted 2, the opening. Then we're going to talk a little bit about The Last of Us. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about motion capture there. And then lastly, we're just going to have a game talk, film talk. It's kind of like you're peering into one of our regular conversations. We hope that you participate in that as well. where he's hanging even there i would have like put some light on his face ah uh, actually uh, like that's another thing like do we bring extra lighting in for the purpose of a cut scene yeah that's a question good point this is where you know now with unreal engine you can do so much more yeah. maybe this is part of the you know the history yeah right? we're looking yeah, at something. yeah yeah absolutely They're, they do a great job of um uh frustum culling with these uh, games and that is how much the camera can see within a particular uh, shot uh, just giving giving the eye only what it needs to see and erasing everything else so that the machine doesn't slow down at all so that's mostly what we're paying attention to here in addition to the motion capture The brain bar is the area of the LED volume where UE onset operators control what goes on the LED wall using a function called end display in Unreal Engine. Haïti a un potentiel. Haïti a sa place dans le concert de nation. C'est-à-dire, nous sommes, nous sommes nés. Et comme un pays, il y a un, un destin extrêmement lumineux. Parce qu'on est né. Porteur de liberté. 